What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Abdullah coming at you with another video for the channel, and welcome back to the DMV Sports Zone. And in today, guys, we are talking about Chase Young making this video at like 2 3 a.m. I'm so tired, but I feel like this is much needed after Sunday night's loss against the New York Giants. But before I get this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more DMV Sports content as you're trying to push out as much fire content out there as possible. And let's get straight to the video. Well, Sunday night's loss still stings. It sucks, man, because we, we had it, but just our playoff chances have become really slim. And Chase Young, you see the title in the video, where is Chase Young? Us fans want to know. And, you know, going into this season, we all thought he was going to miss the first four weeks, and that was it. But something that happened and is not talked about enough is what happened at, at Von Miller training camp or camp, tweaked his knee up more and... It sucks, man. It sucks so much because we see how dominant this defensive line is. Although they got dominated on Monday, on Sunday night against the New York Football Giants, we see how dominant they are. And Chase Young being there would be the cherry on top. He is the franchise guy. We drafted him for a reason. And it is completely frustrating because we see this new thing every week where it's like, okay, he's questionable. Coach Rivera says he's trending towards the right direction to play. And come Sunday morning or late Saturday night, but we see a tweet by Ian Rapport. Chase Young is not expected to play. This is the plan going forward. We'll wait till next week. And I really thought that if he doesn't play after the bye week, that he's not going to play for the rest of the season. And when I got the notification that he's not playing, he wasn't going to play this Sunday night, last Sunday night, then I was like, bro, he's done for the season. There's no point in putting him in anymore. Like, if he's not 100%, what's the point? And that's the problem with this fan base. They're just too impatient. We saw what happened with Robert Griffin III. Second overall pick, too. A young, over, a young guy got injured his rookie year. Although Chase got injured the second year, again, it was just similar injuries, you know, lower body. And we have to learn from our mistakes, man. We just can't rush our young guys back into play. We want him to be 100%. It's that simple. It really, it shouldn't be a debate. I know it sucks because we he is our guy. And we see guys like in our division, Kayvon Thibodeau dominate. We just we really saw that recently. Micah Parsons, a beast. The second coming of Lawrence Taylor. And the Eagles, Jordan Davis. I mean, he's, he's, he's a beast too. I know he's been injured. But they still have a crazy defensive line. And all of us are pointing, the fans are pointing to the front office and coaches have saying, where's our guy? We have our guy. We just got to be patient. So it, it hurts, but I have his jersey. I love Chase. I mean, I've seen him in person. He's a cool guy. And we see him, he, we see him in the face of the franchise, him, John Allen, Terry. But eventually fans got to realize that if he's not 100%, is there really any point of putting him out there? And now that we might not even make the playoffs, is it worth putting him out there in action? And even if we put him back out there, he's going to be on a pitch count. He shouldn't be put out there like every single defensive down. So we got to be smart with it, man. We have to got to invest in the long term. We can't be happy with some short-term production. And even if Chase comes back, he might not be what he was his rookie year, even first half of last year where he's dominating and fans are going to be like, oh, this guy's a bust, blah, blah, blah. It's too early to say that. I know Noah, another co-host of the DMV Sports Zone channel, said that he's close to being Jadavion Clowney, and I hope we're wrong. But give him a healthy season, man. He's a young guy. He's like 20, 23, 24. He's, he's young. Oh, let me make sure. How, I don't want to say uh, I'm wrong. How old is Chase Young? 23. So... Again, I get it. It's completely frustrating. But at the end of the day, we got to do what's best for this franchise. And we want Chase here for the long term. So it sucks, man. It's, it really does. But when he comes back 100% healthy, man, hopefully he learned a thing or two from this new defensive line coach. And that's about it. I mean, that, where is Chase Young? He's there. Just not playing. And I'm all for it, man. Just be 100%. There's nothing much else you could ask for. We talked about it in the recent video with Anthony Armstrong, former NFL slash Washington wide receiver. You don't trade this guy. You don't. We just drafted him not too long ago. What's the point of trading him? Even if you consider trading him, his trade value isn't as good as it was when he was when he was playing. So do we really get anything? Probably not. I don't think so. So again, be patient, Washington fans. I know you hear it all the time when it comes to organization because we've been patient for too long for the past 25 to 30 years. But eventually, one day, the sun's going to be shining and the Washington Commanders, Redskins football team will be good one day. And hopefully that day will come after Dan sells the team. But that being said, guys, 
Chase Young, man. I just need to talk about him. It's really late. It's just, again, this, the situation is frustrating, but we just have to be patient at the end. I mean, look at last year with Curtis Samuel or even this past offseason. Fans were calling him Paul Richardson Jr. or Sr. or the, the, ne- the a better version of Paul Richardson. And he practiced one day, did not practice the next day. And fans were like, well, what's up with this guy? Like, like why? Like, well, we because like Kenny Gallagher and Kenny Gallagher has been terrible for the New York Giants. But Curtis Samuel has been playing pretty good this season. Proved us wrong. We're us- using him as a gadget guy. So it's got to be patient, man. I-, I I trust Ron Rivera, the front office, the coaching staff, I know what they're doing. Although I might not love Scott Turner and Jack Del Rio can be questionable at times. Coach Ron knows what he's doing. That's his guy. That's his boy. So got to be patient, man. Just be patient. Be patient. But with that being said, guys, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, more DMV Sports content. I try to put, push out as much fire content out as possible. Follow us on all social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, at DMV Sports Zone. This posted a fire collab with Anthony Armstrong. We talked about the commanders, Chase Young, his journey to the NFL, his time in Washington. And it was a cool guy, man. Just go check it out. But all right, guys, San Francisco week, Trent Williams, Kyle Shanahan, Brock Purdy, George Kittle, Marion Ayuk on the Debo Samuels playing. It's a short week on Saturday. Preview video will be out soon. It's going to be tough. We'll see what we can do. Sorry for the 720 quality. This is on my this is on Zoom. So I'll try to get back to my phone sooner rather than later. All right, guys. Peace.